All right, it's time to grab more stone in this episode. All right, continuing right off from where we were last time, we had solved the coal issue. Now, we need to go grab some stone. I'm going to grab a bunch of belts before we go. I'm down to 900. And then we also need to uh, stock up on whatever else we need for belts. Or for stone. We already put the miners out there. Those. I am full. What do I not need? Let's go dump out the coal. Dump out a bunch of things before we get going. And uh, there's no power over there. I'm looking for a coal belt that is near an electric line. Another one of our uh, get rid of stuff areas. Alright, take all but all but one stack. I need that in case I use vehicles. What else? Alright. I gotta fill up on belts. I don't want to give those away. Other stuff can't go in that one because it's actively dumping into stuff. Here is here's a chest that I can now use for anything. Stone, we're gonna have plenty out there. Iron ore, don't need it. Copper ore, don't need it. Why am I carrying around so many red circuits? Or engines? extra guns or one red ammo don't need that stuff either or injured gun turret I can actually use more radars That gives us a decent number of inventory slots. Oops. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, plenty of plate and copper now. Copper, get the rest in belts. Down here. Okay. I have 2,000 belts. That'll definitely do. Um, I want to bring back mostly. Do I want to bring back stone brick? Or mostly just plain stones, because that's what I need for rails, is plain stones. Walls, or well, they're produced down here. Walls need the brick. Walls need the brick. For that matter, so do uh, uh, steel furnaces, but I don't need those very often. I think we bring it back as stone and just process it here in the base for the walls. That way, we're not predetermining before it even gets here. So we're just gonna Let's bring back just one belt of it so that we can get rails made. And then um, after we get 
trains going. Then we can go back and grab the other belts. Let's uh, see what needs increased um, in terms of laser coverage and repair the ones that have gotten injured. Now once we get bots going, they have the ability to, to repair stuff if you give them enough repair packs. So they can take care of this uh, wall. Uh, um, mending for us, so we don't have to keep doing it all the time. Let's turn off pollution. Let's look at the turret coverage, is good. Logistic networks. Nope, none of them. Don't have that going. Uh, I wanted to see an overlay of, well, this will do. I just wanted to see about radar coverage. Uh, we need a little bit in the middle here. Other than that, we don't need any here or here. A little bit, we need one down here too. So, that half of the base could use some. going. What? 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 I wasn't even supposed to. Okay. Well, I guess I was close to the wall, so I made for a more a tastier target, so... Alright, you died. Definitely bad luck on that one. I do not need to stock up on anything because I'm behind my own walls. I have to go over there and get my stuff and... Ugh. What was that, death number six or so? I don't know, I guess. You have stuff to do. Thank you. That area definitely needs more uh, turret coverage. Alright, let's go get my body. I can't dilly dally too much. That 15 minute clock has started already. Uh, I am going to pick up zero things. I'm not going to. Uh, do like I used to do and load up a bunch of grenades and things like that because I'm behind the safety of my own walls when I got killed. It's kind, of, kind of ridiculous. Let's go down and around, I guess. Excuse me. I had enough room before, why can't you pick it all up now? Oh, because the stone moved from the logistic trash slots. There we go.
I'm out of repair packs. 20 of those. Okay. Get more laser turrets down. All right, so I got 129 to place as I'm going along here. I don't want to have any of those kind of deaths again. All right, 94 to place still. Okay, whatever, it's fine. That was not power in the game flickering. That was my apartment's power flickering. We're having a uh, snowstorm today as I am recording this in Colorado. Hopefully power will stay on long enough so that I can finish recording an episode because I imagine it would just erase the whole thing from my, from my computer if I were to lose power. This is a not a laptop, it is a desktop. So. being spaced so close to each other you know they're all going to fire when uh, when uh, biters come in to range which means it'll be even more of a power drain but with those accumulators that we have those are we should be able to withstand any of those kind of things anymore especially as many as I put down
Now I do not know if you are required to use uranium in order to get the rocket going. I haven't seen anything yet in the tooltips indicating that I need to do so. That might be the the uh, necessary um, base expansion again because closest uranium is way up here. Um, and then there's some over here. 4.4 million, 2.8. So if we have to expand again for the rocket stuff, like you have to need uranium, that's that's where we would have to go. Otherwise, if these patches will hold out, we may not have to uh, base expand again before the, we get the rocket going. And we're probably a long ways away from the rocket. Just judging by how slow I've been going and problems we've been incurring and since we're not even we only have four out of, out of the seven sciences. Uh, I think the seventh one you only get after you launch the rocket, so. We're down to two turrets. Okay. We're out of turrets, but we haven't been getting attacked too much on this wall. I say as I'm repairing a bit of wall there. But, I mean, we do have some coverage. We lost a light there. Oops. A while ago. So I will let uh, extreme coverage of turrets be for another time. We do need to try to accomplish more towards our goal of getting stone. Let me just check on the health of everything over here. There's not even a dead biter around. Okay. We didn't really need to claim this lakefront property, but we did, so it's ours. Okay, let's get over to stone and get that belt back. Get gray science working again. All right, before we were thinking about processing it up here, I'm going to change that. and change all belts to come down instead. Let's take both of these, combine them so that we make sure that we have a full belt coming into the base. And let's go over this direction. Then, let's start dragging along. run into that cliff in just a second. That rock had no health left. I was doing it a favor. Get a 
Okay. I guess we're going shoreline for a bit. Entrance where to the, the base? Do we go north or south of the solar array? Yet to be decided. Place that when we want, needed sulfuric acid. So this used to be a stone uh, stone line. Well, turned into brick line. Yeah, that was the brick line. So I think we had. Mm -hmm. It it was a stone line. Then it hit the uh, it hit the assemblers to make brick and then we didn't continue the stone down somehow I don't know because it came over here and then we erased the whole thing later on when we were in the middle of our sulfuric acid push so nothing up above this needs stone It's the the wall maker that needs the stone, and then there's something else over here, over on the right that needs stone as well. That we are, it needs uh, brick for to make uh, um, steel furnaces. But I am perfectly willing to move that that whole assembler down in the line. And move the wall makers. Well, wall makers cannot go any further down than Gray Science. So here. So what if I take out the steel furnaces and at this point we add in the stone as another piece of the bus? These get kind of messy over here, so we can bring it down over on the left. I might have 
have to avoid some other things around here, but so sulfuric acid wall brings stone over here. Bring it up here, which means we can get there from over here. We can get there from anywhere. Here would be a great place to bring it in because I'm currently unused space. So it's easier to obviously go up around the solar array. So that's what we shall do. Just bring it in parallel to this iron, I guess. Or close to it. Doesn't need to be right on top of it. This is the iron plate going up to sulfuric acid. And we just gotta find where we left. Our there you go. Stone is not making it through the wrong direction, that's why. through soon. There it is. Okay. in there but this is what works more naturally with fewer bends and that would have been easier coming through there and less things to jump around but it can be done spaghetti belt going on for a bit until we can get over here that we can space it out a bit more there's a wall so that's going to be a problem that won't though so This one might just not be quite as straight as the other ones, given the cliffs that are in our way and our refusal to get cliff explosives to blow them up. That doesn't make sense. If you blow up a cliff in real life, all you're doing is moving the cliff back. You're going to need some serious earth movers to smooth it out over a long time for it not to be a cliff. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. Why is there an iron plate there? Because that's going to be filling up with stone in just a second. It should come under and over here. There we go. And now that there's room, let's get it a bit away from the just so they have expansion capabilities let's go out oops we'll 
come down this way. Well, just go to the other side of the of the coal. It's not to be try to be ridiculous about it. the coal maker needs I mean the wall maker needs why am I doing that it doesn't need that it needs um, uh, stone bricks Stone brick assembly has to be up here. <sighs> yeah, why didn't I think of that? Okay. So we have stone available here, and we're going to get it onto the bus soon. We need a couple furnaces up here. This is a this is a decent zone to do it in. Create another line for bricks. We'll head on down to the wall. And also feed some bricks over to steel furnaces. Okay. So. Put it off right here and take care of the stone to brick conversion in the next episode. So thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.